Language learning hasn't really changed. The social and cognitive processes that are involved in language learning are pretty much the same as they've always been throughout human development. But language teaching has changed, and it's changed in ways that are much more compatible with what we understand about language learning. We learn when we engage in an activity that we're interested in, that we're able to do, and that we practice over and over again, either on our own or with the help of someone who can do it better than we can. After a while, the activity becomes easy or automatic, and that's what we call learning. In too many classrooms over many years, language teaching focused on studying the language itself. So students got practice in studying the language, but not so much practice in using the language. New approaches to language teaching ensure that students start to use the language as they learn it, and often they start using it meaningfully and interactively from the first day of class. The approaches to language teaching that I find more compatible with language learning are quite varied. We talk about communicative language teaching, task or project-based language teaching, content-based language teaching. We talk about CLIL and immersion. What all of these approaches have in common is that they engage learners from the very beginning in using language to do things with language, whether it's understanding or producing information about a topic that's important to them, perhaps daily life or their academic curriculum. Students engage in these activities as they learn the language, and they learn it better through these activities. This doesn't mean, however, that the language takes care of itself. We know from the research that there are features of language that are almost impossible to learn through simple exposure, especially in a classroom setting. Therefore, we need teachers to guide students, to provide feedback, and to draw their attention to things that they might never see if the teacher didn't help them notice. So these new approaches to language teaching are very exciting. I'm also very excited about the research that follows the learning that occurs in these classrooms. Over the coming years, we'll see lots of research that will help us find out whether these approaches have made the changes uh, that we hope to see in language learning.